So here's a play you don't see every day. In fact, you've probably never seen it before. Put it in the comment section below if you've seen this happen before. So we have a 4-4 game, St. John's Fairfield. Extra innings, man on third. And this is how Fairfield loses the game. So here's the pitch. It's in the dirt. It's blocked by the catcher. Catcher uses his face mask to grab the ball. And the runner at third is awarded home. So the runner is awarded home. They score. So let's take another look at this. Let's back this up real quick. So here's the catcher. Blocks the ball. Everything's good. Takes his mask off so he can find it. But he uses his mask to stop the ball. And once he makes that move right there where his face mask makes contact with the ball deliberately that is a free base so it's the detached equipment rule here's the rule if a fielder deliberately touches a ball with detached equipment so think catcher's mask your hat maybe you take your cleat off and whip it at the ball or throws their glove and touches the ball a runner is awarded one base on a pitch ball two bases on a thrown ball, and three bases on a batted ball. Now, I've never seen this live before. I've never even seen it watching a game on TV, but it has happened. It's happened in Major League games before. Watch as the ball goes down the dirt, and he takes his mask off. Yep, can't do that. Any piece of equipment you have is illegal to go out to the ball with. And again, I've played in like a million games in my life and coached in a ton, and I've never had this play called in person. But it's a really important rule to know as both a player and a coach. And I would almost guarantee that the majority of players don't understand this rule. And someone sent me this tweet today and a lot of people in the comment section were all yelling at the umpire that they're a hard-o and forcing the rules too much. But this is a clear violation. And even though it probably doesn't impact the play very much because the catcher literally could have just dropped his mask and just grabbed the ball with his hand I mean the runner isn't going anywhere it technically again is a violation it has to be called and the catcher clearly has no idea that he even broke a rule so if you're a coach it might make sense to take a few minutes to explain this rule to your players so they don't make this same mistake and let me know in the comment section below if you've ever seen this before whether you're watching a game on tv live playing in it because again I have still yet to see this play happen during any game that I've been watching or playing in. So that's all we have. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.